Turgaloo. Another missed three-pointer. 4-12 shooting from downtown by the Magic. Here's House. Oh, what a move. Eddie House, who really takes it to the rim, able to go baseline, hit on the scoop, and it leads to an Orlando timeout. I think this surprise, even Eddie House right here, taking the ball off the dribble for the land. Two of 12 in game one, 10 points, five rebounds for Ray. Hodges shot blocked by Petrus. Kicked around by Davis, finding House. This say House. I'm thinking of Craig Hodges. <laughs> 28 lead. Five minutes gone by in the second. And here's House. Yes. That's a two-pointer. He had a foot on the line. But a series of moves by Howard. Another rebound for Rondo. House. Yes. That's a two-pointer. Celtics by 16. That's going to happen many a time. You? Many a time. House for three. Nineteen point Celtic lead. Here's House. Yes. How he was able to get that off, I don't know. Rondo was able to use the pick. Finds House. Yes. Another three for Eddie House. See Magic players starting to hang their heads off that last shot. Standing ovation here for the Celtics. 9-0 run to Boston. With that quick release jump shot, and you're wondering how he got this shot up over Mikhail Petrus, and then Rondo again with his 15th assist to rock to Eddie House in the short corner three. Saturday night after a low-key celebration in the locker room, Celtic players immediately handed scouting reports on how to deal with Orlando. There's House again. Oh! Austin took a swipe at House, hit him on the head. Apparently there were words exchanged, and let's see how the officials handle this. Rafer Austin actually took a swing and landed on the head of, of Eddie House. Let's see how they deal with this. Well, it looked like it, it was a double technical foul with Bennett Salvatore gave to Eddie House and one to Ray for Austin. And that just would be a sight out of bounds. If Stan Van Gundy looks like he's gonna get Ray for Austin out of there before anything else escalates. But Eddie House coming off the screen, knocking down the jumper right in the face of Ray, Ray for Halston is, how could the officials not see that? I, I see Bennett Salvatore in the background. He wasn't even looking at the play right there. Now that's not what you'd call a hard punch, but he, he took no, a he, swing at him, so yes. that's automatic ejection. That's an automatic Inside. ejection. Ray for Halston is very fortunate that he was not tossed. And clearly, when you look at it on the tape, Bennett Salvatore wasn't even looking at the direction of Eddie House is on fire. 22 points in 18 minutes of play against this team. Games three and four in Orlando Friday night and Sunday night. We'll have Sunday night's game here on TNT. This house open. Yes. That's a two-parter. He continues his dazzling shooting performance. 10 of 12 from the field. 24 points. Paul Pierce back on the floor. Rajon Rondo back. Here's House for three. Yes! Oh, 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 oh wow. And the foul. The contact from Anthony Johnson, a potential four-point play. And it's been the flare screens and the screens down low that have gotten Eddie House going. 
And this is just a simple, like, brush screen. One, two, and Eddie House behind the three-point line. Anthony Johnson a little late, rotating to him. Comes up with the foul. Four-point play for Eddie House. Uh, let's go to David Aldridge. Eddie, uh, Doc said you stayed on the floor tonight, not because of your shooting, but because of your defense. Yeah, it's kind of ironic, right? But, um, you know, he's been saying that all, all, even last series. Like, if you wanted me to stay on the floor, I have to be active defensively. I know I'm not a defensive stopper, but I can get my hands on balls, keep guys in front of me, and contest shots. I know my rotation. So it's just a, a matter of having energy out on the court. So, um, you know, just try to do my job tonight. You know, you guys say that you ask a lot of Rajon Rondo. You know it's sort of unfair. He's so young, but you have to have it from him. It looked like he provided you with that spark from the beginning of the night. Definitely. Uh, he, he picked up where he left off last game. I think in the middle of the third quarter last game, he picked him up you know, full court. You know, we just had a lot of energy on both ends of the court, and that's what we need from him because everybody else follows suit. So if, if he sets a tone, we follow him, and, you know, he's like our leader on the court even though he's not the captain, but he's like a captain. So uh, when he plays well, I think we all play well. To ask you, did you say something to make Rafer slap you in the head? No, I just made a shot, and I think that, you know, that's what happens when you start busting somebody ass. They, they get upset like that and, stay, and resort to, to Bush League tactics. So, you know, you know we're above that. We're we not into that. We're just going to play basketball and, and keep trying to put wins on the board. Eddie, thanks. Thank, huh? Thank you. Thank you, man. <laughs> I always do that with you, Marv, right? <laughs>